In this video tutorial, you will see how to set up the SenseGuard system. After registering, go to Connection page. The wizard will help you to set up the system step by step. First, you need to enter the name of the location. Location is the place where the SenseGuard monitoring system is installed. For example, it may be your store or warehouse. The system does not limit the number of locations for each user. Enter the name of the location, for example, my shop in Riga. Next, you can add description of the location. This can be an address, contact phone number or something else. Any useful information that should always be on hand. For example, you can note here the contacts of the person in charge. Select the country where your location is situated and fill in the address. This information will be required by the system to correctly display your location on the world map. If required, fill out the brand name. This will help to sort out different locations for one brand in the future. Upload the room plan. You can place the equipment in this plan then. If required, upload your logo. Go to the next step to connect the data collector. If desired, enter a name of the data collector. If you skip this step, the system will display the serial number of the collector instead of a name. Enter the serial number of the collector and the verification code. They are printed on the case of the device. Move the collector using the mouse to the place of its installation. Select the color and upload a photo. All these actions will help to quickly find the collector if necessary. Go to the next step to connect the object. The object is that place inside the location where you want to install sensors. For example, it could be a refrigerator, a showcase, a whole room and so on. You can put an unlimited number of sensors inside each object. It is obligatory to enter the name of the object. For example, refrigerator with ice cream. Upload a photo of the object. Place it on the location map and select the desired color. Enter the minimum and maximum temperatures for this object. If necessary, set the settings to use the monitoring interval and the digital filter. More information about these wonderful features can be found on the help page. These settings will be applied by default for all sensors connected to this object. You can also configure each sensor separately. Go to the next step to connect a sensor. If desired, enter the name of the sensor. Enter the serial number of the sensor and the verification code. They are printed on the case of the device. If required, enter the minimum and maximum temperature settings for this sensor. Drag the sensor to the place of installation. This will help to quickly find the sensor if necessary. Initial setup completed. You can connect another sensor to this object or complete the setup. Now you can connect the collector to the Internet.
within five minutes the first data from the sensors will be transmitted and you can see them on the monitoring page.